Internet crew, people of the internet, today is another video about an idea and, and, and examples to sort of spark your imagination and get the, the balls rolling and the water flowing and the, the cartwheels stuff happening. So basically, sound design. Most not, most, is it most people? Yeah, more than half of the people I talk to basically want to make sounds that no one's ever heard before. They want to be doing sound design things that make them stand out. Could be in dubstep, could be in future bass, could be in trap, could even be in house and techno sometimes. It, literally any genre could partly be because of the people that follow me are more sound design tilted. I don't know. Anyway, lots of people want to make sounds that no one's ever heard before. They want to stand out through sound design. So if there's a, a box, so here's a, there's a box. They want to be outside of the box. What are you doing over there? Get, get back in the box. No, I don't want to be in the box. What's Multiplier on about? If you want to stand out on the sound design front, almost by definition, you have to be doing things that no one else is doing. You have to be not just doing the normal serum stuff. I mean, the normal, the, the normal words. No, the normal serum stuff is great, but if you want to stand out, You've really got to be doing something different, not just doing your normal wavetable position modulation, or say with a lead, just modulating pitch with all your normal oscillators. I mean, it'd be, it just makes sense. If you're doing the same things as everybody else, it's almost impossible to do something different. I mean, that just makes sense. Blah, 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 focus multiply, give an example. So you've got to be doing things that other people aren't doing. So here's an example. What are all these noises? Oh, they're unusual. Oh, Multiplier's done something different. And you're right, Multiplier did do something different. So what Multiplier did, Multiplier is me, he, he used RX6, so Isotope RX6, which is audio repair software, it's designed to repair audio. Um, there are two modules in it, for example, I think I use these two, uh, D-Crackle and D-Mouth Click, basically uh, things to remove crackle from audio recordings and also the other one to remove mouth noises. Uh, so, but there's a really cool button. There's, there's a button, it's the same button, but on both of them. These buttons here, there's a button that says output crackle or output clicks. In other words, it's it's removing crackle. So the, the software is removing crackle, but instead of being outputted just the, the fixed up audio, it, it outputs the crackle. Uh, when they're saying the clicks, the, the mouth clicks. So you can output just the clicks or just the crackle, which I think is super cool because then you can basically make sounds by taking sounds you made and then running it through this, outputting the crackle or outputting the mouth clicks, and you have a stuff. The stuff you just heard, which is super cool because like, no one's doing that. It's got a whole sonic identity specific to this technique. I mean, this, this is not what it's designed for. I don't know why it's designed this way, but it's a cool button. It's a very cool button. So I'm basically using software in the way it's not intended, not to mention not too many people in the electronic dance music world even know about RX6. So I'm basically making sounds with this little thing I figured out that no one else is making. Because th there's a box and I'm outside the box and multiply and get in the box. I don't want to be in a box, I'm outside the box. Oh, boxes. Probably wondering now, you're probably thinking, multiplier, what other things are outside the box? It's for you to find out. Discover yourself. Uh, that's kind of the point. You have to think outside the box, try things, press buttons, and maybe look at softwares that other people aren't using, maybe record things in an unusual way. Um, get, get a frog, put the microphone on the frog, get the frog to hop about. I don't know, that's an idea, probably a bad one. But you know, you gotta think outside the box there, right? Frogs don't live in boxes. So yes, do get creative and think outside the box. Remember, people don't like boxes. Ah, oh, multiplier's gone mad, just, to, just like normal. So, Sound design, think outside the box. Are we recording? We are recording. Think outside the box, boxes. Ah, oh, no, boxes. Ah, oh, oh, brilliant. Inspired, inspired. Oh, so yes, the like the sort of noises I just showed you. You're probably thinking, multiplier, those weird little squiggly noises. Uh, oh, they're, they're my product, the music production bundle on my website link below. So these, these noises, you're probably thinking, multiplier, that doesn't sound like a song. 
You're right, but you can use these things I created uh, for layers. You can layer that on top of drums or layer it on top of a bass. In fact, if it layered these on top of basses, it would sound like it's actually a part of the bass. And then people would be like, whoa, what's up with your bass? How did you make that? And then you'd be like, secret. But you would know that you just took a normal bass and put this cool layer on top, texture. It's a texture. And or you could like make weird drum layers with it and then you could just get creative. Oh, this is actually more knowledge. So when making innovative sound design things, you probably want to maybe then combine it with something more normal, potentially. That's sort of slightly outside the box. You could always go way over here, but people um, might get a bit thrown off by that. Anyway, multiplier, video, finish the video. Okay, video is finishing any second now. Flippity flip.